Alright guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to compare what's on a page with what you have in a file. Um, one of the guys in the forum had asked how you can use the answers from Yahoo Answers and see if there are answers on a page. So, what we've got to do here is I've gone through and recorded all the basic steps and then we're going to need a loop here so that we can get uh, results from the file. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get, make sure you get the DOM text of the page because we're going to be using a regular expression to check and see if what's in the file matches what's on the page. And we're going to use the file counter strings of the file for our loop to compare and make sure that we run through all the answers and this way you can do it without deleting them. You want to set your counter because your counter is going to be what you use to pull the, the line from the file. Alright, here what we're going to do is we're just going to check and see, here you can see where I've got the line from the file by the counter, that'll pull the line number, and then since this is going to be a comparing a number to a number, then you can you don't have to have the apostrophe around the field data, so what we're going to do is we're going to check and make sure that the count of strings is greater than the, than the loop count, and then that way it'll keep looping through our, through all the lines of the file. So basically that's what you're going to do is you're going to take the count of strings of the file, number of lines in other words, and compare it with your counter. Now here's where it gets interesting. Here's where I use regular expression to see if the line that we pull from the file is actually on the page. So here you can see this is where you pull the line from the file and you use a regular expression for this. What you're going to do is you're going to take the DOM text of the page, use that result as the first part of your regular expression. That's what we're comparing to. And then what you want to do is you want to go over and get the result of pulling the line from the file, which will be text. And then you got to put that as the regular expression, and I didn't do it on here, but on my template I did, you got to make sure you put dot asterisk at the end of the regular expression. That way it'll check for everything on the page. That's the way, that way it's a regular expression. So you got to take the result of that and you're going to put it into your logic operation here. And since we're comparing data instead of numbers, you're going to have to put apostrophes around the the results so you can see it has an apostrophe beginning and then just like on if you're done check for selected text presence it's the same thing you have apostrophe equals apostrophe apostrophe and that should give you a true value if what if the line of the file is on the page and then all we're going to do is if, if if it's true if that line is on the page then we're going to add one to our counter, go back up, pull another line from the file, and see if it's if it, if that line is on the on the page also. And if not, you can see where it comes off of the red dot here. If the answer, if the line from the file is not on the page, then we're going to go ahead and go over and pull the line from the file, the result of that, and put it into the Yahoo results answer. And I'm also including a template on the forum so that you can see, walk through this and see how it's done, so. Just going to walk through the template again, basically show you here, we get the DOM text of the page, we take a line from the file, we're going to do a regular expression to make sure to see if, if the line from the file is on the page that, that you're on. If it is, then we'll loop back.